Do you guys know the name Marie Kondo? She's, uh... Yeah, all right. How many of you have been cleaning out your closets because of her? All right, not that many. She wrote a book. She's uh, got a book and a Netflix show. The show's called Tidying Up. If you haven't seen it, she basically she makes people get rid of stuff. So we've been doing our show for 16 years. I'm a pack rat, and I'm a slob, too. And I've accumulated a lot of stuff. So someone thought it would be a good idea to ask Marie Kondo to help. Now, none of this is set up. This is really my office and how it really looks here at the show. And, well, and here's Marie Kondo giving me a little help. Hi, hello. Hello, hello. Hi, hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you for coming. Can I be yeah. very honest with you? I had a nightmare about this the other night. I woke up upset because I dreamed you came into my office and started destroying my things. What's important about my method is that you'll be doing all the hard work, Jimmy. I, oh. Actually, I'm not, I never enforce anybody to throw anything away. Great. Yeah. Well, our work here is done. Thanks. Hey, nice to meet you. But with the Komari method, what we'll be doing here today is checking if everything that you own sparks joy or not. If it sparks joy, we keep it. If it doesn't, it goes. Exactly. Okay. okay, let's tidy up. How about everyone who uses this office to take this time to send a little love and appreciation to the office? That's a good idea. Mm. So it's very simple. Just close your eyes and simply in your heart express gratitude for all that this office does for you. Oh, we're done? Yeah, we're done, everybody. So it's also important to um, have a vision for your office before you tidy. So how would you best like to use this office? I'd like it to be a little more organized, and I'd like it to be... I'd like it not to look like a rumpus room. You know how to translate rumpus, huh? I did. <laughs> this is my oh, wow, so dressing big. closet. So spacious. I have a lot of black socks. But they spark joy for you, I assume. No, I just have to wear them for the show, so I wear them. Let's take this opportunity to express your gratitude for them. To express my gratitude to the socks? To the socks. Of course. Thanks, socks, for um, always being there in the drawer. It's for, you know, protecting my feet and keeping them warm and um, for all the other great things you do. Perfect. <laughs> so these are my books. The trick is to take all the books out okay. from the bookcase and no, make a mountain. Oh, oh, oh. This is the nightmare I had. This is what I was telling you about. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. We have, we've got the phone with the yellow pages. I didn't even know they made this anymore. Oh, this is a book. It's called Full Disclosure by Stormy Daniels. You're going to love that. Take that. You can read it to her or whatever. Thank you very much. I read that you said you should only have 30 books. I don't know where that rumor came from. Oh, that's a rumor. It's a misconception. Okay, good, good. Because I need more than 30. So once you have this mountain of books, the thing that I like to do is wake up the books a little bit. Oh. Wake, okay. wake up the books. Hey guys, wake up! <laughs> so this is your yeah. office area? Yeah. It really is more embarrassing when you stop and take a look at it. When you look around and just survey the area, what sparks joy? Which well, this is a wiffle bat signed by Magic Johnson. Do you know who Magic Johnson is? Is he a baseball player? No, he's a basketball player. <laughs> Well, why not you know, be confident. This is something that sparked joy. So, okay. Yeah. Like so. That's what I recommend. All right, we'll put that up on the wall. So I have all this stuff on the ground here. You're going to need to touch each and every one and see which one brings you joy. Okay. Oh, oh, there's my pants. I've been wondering what happened to these. My pants. I lost these and now I found them. Thank you. You know what this is? This is... This is an emergency ladder I bought in case we need to escape. Is, is, is that a cockroach? No, those are... Oh, yeah, that is a cockroach, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, sorry about that. So this is a sculpture. My cousin and my brother had this made for me of my grandfather's head. 
Now, it's great and I love it, but it's right here in the middle of the coffee table and I'm worried that it's going to get ruined. Perhaps you can create one dedicated shelf for your grandfather's head. That sounds horrible, but I think you're right, yeah. Maybe I'll get rid of all these bottles of alcohol and this table will be dedicated to my grandfather's head. I want to show you one more thing, okay? Are you familiar with the song The Rain by Orange Juice Jones? Hey, Orange Juice Jones, the rain. So, no, sorry. No, okay, well, the song goes like this. It goes, hey, hey, baby, how you doing today? You miss me? You did. I missed you too. I missed you so much, I followed you today. Now close your mouth because you're cold busted. Now sit down here, sit down here. I'm so upset with you, I don't know what to do. My first impulse was to run up on you and do a ramble about to jam you, flat blast both of you. But I didn't want to mess up this $3,700 Lynx coat. So instead, I chilled. That's right, I chilled. And then I went to the bank, no, took out every dime. I went and canceled all your credit cards, all your charge counts. I stuck you up for every piece of jewelry I ever bought you, everything, everything. No, no, don't go look in that closet. Mm. Everything you came here with is packed up and waiting for you in the guest room. Mm. What was you thinking about? What was you trying to prove? Use with the juice. You gotta get on out of here with that Alicat Cohen, Hunch Puppy, Shoe, and Crumb Cake. I saw you there. Cause you just missed. That's right. Silly rabbit. Tricks were made for kids, don't you know that? Okay, and that's the key right there because this is a box of tricks and it's signed by Orange Juice Jones. I'll wait for you to translate that whole thing. Uh, so, in essence, it's for sure. It's by the. Yeah, it does, yeah. I think that boils it down, yeah. I feel more stable emotionally now. I was worried you were going to come in here like the cookie monster, just destroying everything. I get that a lot. But the point here is that I'm not going to tidy for you. It's everyone's job to tidy their own space. I'm going to tell my assistants that real quick. Hey guys, it's your job to tidy my own space. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean up, you know, and we'll see what the result of this is, okay? I'll be looking forward to that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations on making it to the end of a YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.